Hello and welcome to Great Hang, the greatest hang that's ever hanged. I'm your hang, Tim McLovin, coming to you with your other hang, Micah Fox, packing before moving day edition. How are you, Micah? I'm good. I mean, this is like truly going above and beyond for our fans. We are amidst every bad purchase we've ever made. Mm -hmm. We've stopped cleaning a month ago. Yes. Out of spite. Yeah, we're leaving that place dirty for the other people because it is, in fact, their fault that the market price is high because they could not rent this place at an insane price. I just think if you buy a place well above market rate, sight unseen, you deserve to have mold in your toilets and roaches everywhere. Yes, and that's also the landlord's fault because we told them we had roaches months ago. And rats in the walls. And you know what they did? Sent me a phone number to an exterminator. Guess what? I'm not the building manager. Right. <laughs> Guess whose responsibility that's? Do you know how every time they've sent me something, because we've also had multiple plumbing issues, multiple refrigerator issues, they don't handle it for a week. Then they give me a number. Then the person who they're, who's on the other end, guess what? Sometimes a lot of these people are not very responsible. Oh, don't yeah. really want to work. And then you got to like be on them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be on someone for an apartment that's not mine. Yeah, I don't like to be on people either. I know. That's right. Oh, man. Well, we're here. We're in the midst of packing. We could have, this could have easily been solved if we ever banked any episodes, but we never bank. We go, we go record. I immediately do everything and it comes out the exact next day. Well, now is that, is that our fault? Well, yes. Tim, the thing is, the world is in such flux that if we bank even one episode, the entire existence could change by then. And we are a topical show. That's true. We do stay topical. People with... come to us for the news and, and current insight. Yeah. People come to hear the topical takes of me being stupid and fat. Yeah. It's like, what if Tim wasn't fat anymore? And then this came out and it looked like he still was. That'd be crazy. That'd be cool. That would be sick, actually. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, well, Micah, today for the Patreon, I was like, what? I was like, maybe we should read some Reddit, Am I the Assholes? But then I was like, we can't read those because you use those for your hot takes of the week. Sometimes I do. Often. Actually. And I didn't want to waste anything you. that you could use, right, on Thank my you. own thing. So what I decided to do was type in Reddit advice. Ah. And see if we can give advice to people. And the first one I found is absolutely insane. Okay. I read ahead a little bit. Okay. Now I'm nervous that it's the one that I did, picked for tomorrow, but let's find out. Okay. I do, does yours involve children? I don't even remember. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> this is from our advice. This is from user mini check. C Z check. Don't know when my parents are coming home. Oh, no. <laughs> 15 female here. So a little over three weeks ago, my parents told my brother, nine male, and I that they were going out for a while to see some friends and may end up spending the night somewhere. Didn't really think much of it at the time, but they haven't been home since, and I'm not sure what to do. This is weeks ago? This is apparently three weeks ago. Now, I think, I feel like this is fake. This already feels very fake. It seems fake. It has 1,800 upvotes. Okay. Here's the next, I have not read the next paragraph, but here it is. They're not missing. I've texted both of them multiple times, I'd multiple, multiple times now, and they've always responded. And I've even FaceTimed my mom several times, and it's definitely her, and she seems totally okay. But when I ask them when they, <clears throat> where they are or when they'll be home, they just sort of avoid the question. What the fuck? I'm starting to get really worried, especially since now, since, <clears throat> sorry, especially since. Jesus they, Christ. That doesn't help. Now I have to start all oh, over again. Oh my God. What is it? 15 female here. No, Stop. <laughs> I'm starting to get really worried, especially since they, especially since they <laughs> now. God. This is insane. No, I can't. Here's what it says. Especially oh. since they now saying. They're now saying. So there's a typo. Okay. Well, I'm trying to read it as the words go and the typos fuck me up. Okay. Especially since they're now saying I this should is, use. This is a problem that gets solved when you can read a, a whole sentence at a time. 
Okay, well, guess what? I can't. So the problem's not going to get solved. I should use their credit card. They left here to like buy groceries if I need to, which I'm taking to mean they're not coming back for at least another week. That's insane. Also, like at 15, you still can't drive a car to go get groceries. And I know that because I was abandoned at 15 and was told the same thing. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, I have no idea what to do. Do I call the police? Again, they're not missing. They just won't come back home for some reason. That's called child neglect. (laughs) If you call the police, they will absolutely go to jail. But my brother is starting to get worried now, too. If anyone has any advice, do please do share. It's because I have never been this confused in my life. That's so sad. If it's true. If true... But also, like, who the fuck would even do that? I don't know. Like, I mean, I was abandoned at 14, but there was no younger brother. Right. I don't know. Everyone on this thing is like, call a trusted adult and see if they can help you. That's crazy that the parents are still picking up the calls. If it were me and I was ghosting my children, I would just be like, oh, no hablo ingles, you know. (laughs) Or like Pizza Hut, what do you want? Or something, you know what I mean? Just sort of like fucking bounce. Because either way, either way, the cops are going to get called on you. Right. Better for them. I don't know. What's easier to think they're, to keep answering the phone? I guess it's kind of working for a few weeks. Where do you think they are? Oh, what's that? What's that? Hedonism too? Yeah, like they're in some kind of like orgy situation. Yeah, maybe they joined a cult. Oh, maybe they joined uh, what's his name's cult from Dallas Buyers Club and Morbius. I don't know anything you're talking about. The actor from Thirty Seconds to oh, Mars. Oh, Leto. Yeah, Jared Leto's cult. Maybe they're Ledites. Yeah, let my parents come back home. Uh, so update. Okay. Update to don't know when my parents are coming home. Hey, everyone. I just wanted to make this post so that you all know what's going on now and that we are okay. Okay. My grandparents are here at the house with us now. Okay, good. They called back as soon as they got the voicemails I left and immediately started heading this way. I feel a lot better now that they are here. They called the police once they got here. Yeah. (laughs) They talked to them. I talked to them. All that I, all that we really did is tell them everything I said in the original post and in the original post I made and showed them my text with my parents. We don't have much more information than that. Oh my God. That's really crazy that the parents, the grandparents like narked on the parents. Yeah. But it's interesting because it's like, do you think they were like being held hostage and faking it? But she said FaceTimed, which seems. Yeah. And then she said they seemed okay. I bet they're doing drugs. Yeah, they're for sure doing drugs. Yeah. I can't gran- believe I completely forgot about they just left to go do drugs. Yeah, they're doing drugs. My grand my grandpa called our dad and I think he actually spoke to one of the police officers. I don't know what he said though. <laughs> yeah. Other than he still won't tell anybody where they are. So we still have no idea what they're doing or why they left. I promise I'll make another update when I have more. Please have patience, though. I'm trying to cooperate with an investigation now. They're bringing the police dogs over to sniff around the house, and I'm so nervous, and I don't even know why. Why would they bring police dogs over? That doesn't make any sense. I'm nervous, and I don't know why means there's drugs in the home. I've seen it and blocked it out, Mm. and my subconscious is telling me my parents are about to go be disappeared forever behind bars, and I'm going to have to live with my grandparents and also, like, honestly, how is it three weeks and they never fucking called their grandparents? This is what makes me think it's fake. Because, yeah, like, I'm like, listen, if you're going to Reddit before you're even going to your grandparents. Mm-hmm. Or a neighbor. Yeah. I'm Once when I was left home alone, I microwaved a cup of soup without putting water in it. <laughs> Forgot to put water in it. Did you catch on fire? Of course it fucking caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Caught on fire, filled the whole house with like smoke. The alarm started going off. It was like toxic plastic gas. Yeah. Parents weren't home. I don't know my neighbors at all. But I'm like, listen, this is a neighborhood issue if my house burns down. Right. So I walked across the street. I knocked on the door. I said, hi, I was left home alone and I'm burning the house down. Can you please help me? (laughs) 
<laughs> what they say? They were like, yeah. And they, cause they, they clearly looked across the street, didn't see anything. Cause I yeah. wasn't really burning the house down. Right. Like they, like I just had a small fire in the microwave. They closed the microwave and like, let me hang out at their house till my parents came home. That's nice. Yeah. But like, that's, you know, I don't know. Maybe they live somewhere crazy. Maybe they're really, I don't know. I don't know. This post is really just to let everyone know that our grandparents are here now and we are fine and all right. And I just want to thank everybody for helping out and being so supportive and was really freaking out last night. And I appreciate all the kind words. I'll update when I can. I can't wait for the update on this. Let me see. I'll go to the user. Is everyone, wait, is everyone in the comments being like your parents are on drugs? Oh, this was 15 hours ago. Shit. In the comments here, wow, you're an amazing teenager. No, wrong. Three <laughs> weeks, you fucking, you're a fucking Albanian teenager is what you are. That's great. I'm glad you're safe and have someone there. I'm sorry you're going through this. You absolutely did the right thing, and I would be so proud and so lucky to call you my big sister. Yeah, it's the, the nine-year-old's the part that's really fucked up, because honestly, at 15... <clears throat> I wouldn't have called my grandparents. I'd have called my best friend. I'd be like, hey, can I sleep over? You know what I mean? And i just fucking chill with my friends. Yeah. Like, everyone's got some kind of friend you can just kind of crash at forever, you know? So, well, yeah, true. Yeah, you could just go wherever you... Like, if you, everyone's got one place where they're like, yeah, listen, we know it's bad over there. Yeah. Just stay here. Yeah. Shout so, out, Manias household. <laughs> what up to the... What up to the Greek freaks, the Maniases? <laughs> Uh, this one said, someone posted, I guess, don't worry too much about updating us on Reddit. And then this dude wrote, speak for yourself. This is major T. We absolutely need an update on original <laughs> posters. Parents, original poster. I hope they're okay. They're fucking ha having the best time of their lives. Pretending they don't have children. <laughs> That's crazy that they're answering the phone calls. What's really nuts is their parents who have a full kitchen and good credit card to leave behind usually aren't the kind of parents that just flee. Yeah, that's true. Because if they're drug addicts, but maybe they're just, they just started their drug binge. You know what I mean? This if, whole situation on some crazy Ozark vibes. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like either they're caught up in some crazy shit, but it's like they wouldn't, they would probably have called, gotten message to the grandparents to take care of the kids if they were had any responsibility yeah here's one i bet they joined a cult yeah oh good theory i was thinking the same thing but who joins a people. cult without their kids that's only a sex cult would you yeah think? they're probably yeah they're probably they bring your kids i bet that yeah i bet they're on like a bender yeah uh glad you're safe nice job good luck man one tough kid you got here Poor nine-year-old. The thing is, the nine-year-old also, like, even at nine, I would have called my grandparents. Yeah. Like, at nine, you're, like, a real big fucking baby about shit. Yeah. About, well, about being ditched by your parents anyway. Nine's pretty young. I think. I think so, too. Nine's pretty young. I mean, what, what, nine-year-olds are still wearing diapers? Yeah. Still a little baby. They're learning their ABCs. You have to mash their food up before you can eat it. They little need a lot of baby attention. baby town frolic motherfuckers. That's right. All right, here's another one, Micah. This one's from Cherry Boy. This is also probably fake. I caught my cousin. <laughs> I caught my cousin and brother making out. What do I do? Well, is your cousin a boy or a girl? I don't know. We'll find out. I walked in on my cousin and my brother making out. I'm 14. My brother is 15, and my cousin is 16. All male. Okay. Nice. I say let them fucking suck. You can't. They can't. Here's the thing. It sounds like this kid's jealous. But probably. But boy kids. Also, this sounds I don't think a 14-year-old would say all male. Why not? I don't know. But I think a 15 and 16-year-old boy cousins are allowed to suck and fuck as much as they want because you can't nut in one of them, get them pregnant, and then have a fucked up like mongoloid child, you know? No, we don't use that word. Well, use your use the words we provided. <clears throat> Albanian kid. Thank you. We've been close. We've been close since childhood. Ew, I bet you that's fucking the thing. Am. That's the thing. I was like, maybe if they don't really know each other or whatever, they're not like first cousins. It's like, no, it's fucked up. What's YK? Is that you know? I think so. Uh, always running around together, playing video games. You know, 
what kids do. In the past year, I noticed them getting closer, but of course just thought that they were bonding, so I didn't really suspect anything. Ooh. Two days ago, we all met at our family gathering. It was really fun, and I got to see a lot of people that I missed. My brother, my cousin, and I decided that we want to stay at my grandparents' house for a few more days so that we can hang out because we don't get to see each other that much anymore. Mm-hmm. Nice. Sounds like someone's going to be churning grandma's butter in a minute. <laughs> Yesterday, I went out for I went out for a little to get food. I went out for a little to get food from the store. Oh Jesus! Across Jesus the st- Christ! <laughs> Do you want to read? No, no, Tim, you're doing such a good job. <laughs> that really hurt my feelings. <laughs> I hurt my own feelings reading that sentence. <laughs> now, Tim, I gotta ask you: Is it that slow when you read quietly, or is it just oh, because you're even, reading out when loud? When I read, I have to read multiple times different sentences because I don't understand them when I read alone. Oh, Tim! <laughs> <laughs> All right, where was I? Oh, we gotta start from the beginning. I don't know. Beginning. Second grade, about <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> I came back after around an hour or so. I noticed I, I noticed it was quiet. A little too quiet. I added that part. Except for the <laughs> noises. Yeah. Except for my brother. Except for the indistinguish or the unmistakable sound of my brother vomiting on a cock. <laughs> Which is very weird for us since we're all very loud. Oh my god, is this about you and your brother? <clears throat> no. It's a cousin and a brother. I don't know, but I would change it to cousin and then move along. <laughs> I, walked, I walked upstairs to the bedroom we shared to figure out why and when I opened the door. My brother was on top of my cousin and they were making out. Like heavily making out. Hell yeah. Describe more. My brother wasn't wearing a shirt and his hands were all over my cousin. I just kind of froze and they jumped apart. My cousin started crying, and my brother instantly comforted him. Cool. (laughs) He himself also tearing up. I awkwardly stood. I awkwardly stood before walking out. I just kind of sat on the porch for a bit, processing what just happened. (laughs) Dude, Reddit advice is sick. I know this is great. Uh, my brother came out of the house and we awkwardly sat in silence for a while before he spoke up. He said, I know it's weird, but me and name redacted. That's a re- weird name to give your kid. No wonder he's <laughs> gay for his cousin. Really love each other. I'm sorry you found out this way. Well, they love wow. each other. That's good. Oh, what? <gasps> Damn. This is going to be heartbreaking for somebody. I know. And walked off. It's been really awkward and I don't know what to do. I really don't know how to feel about it. I, for one, don't know, didn't, I, for one, didn't know either of them were gay. I'm in no way homophobic. My girlfriend is bi. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. First of all, nice. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Secondly, you can be homophobic and have a bi girlfriend. Being bi is fake. (laughs) Thank you. My girlfriend is bi, and I have a lot of gay friends who I fully support. Who has this, who at 14 has a lot of gay friends? That's crazy. Um, have you met Gen Z? No. The, the Z stands for sexual. <laughs> Everybody do be looking like Chris Chan lately. <laughs> I don't, oh, the autistic kid? Yeah. I'm in no way homophobic. Oh, no, I read that. That I fully support, although I am straight. In, well, in, obviously not. The homosexuality isn't the bigger issue here. Here's what it says. Your although, cousin fuckers. Although I am straight in parentheses, I think. <gasps> Do you think he got a bone? I don't know. But secondly, we are literally related. Our dads are brothers, and I see both of them as brothers. I mean, they're happy, but yet again, oh my God. I'm that def- kid might be gay. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to tell anyone in our family. I don't want to ruin their relationship, even if it's a bit weird. But I also don't know. I feel like our relationship isn't going to be the same. And I kind of don't want that to close. I don't want to be that close to them anymore, which makes me feel bad. What should I do? He doesn't want to be close to them anymore. That means it's wrong. 
Right. I know they're family members and they're kissing and stuff, but you don't. Here's the thing. You're right not to rat. No one should rat. Ratting is don't ever rat on anybody. Wait, what if they told him though, and then the, like the two dads were like, actually, we're in love too, and then everyone can live out in the open. And then they all start a circle yeah. suck and fuck. They can join the sex cult that the other posters' parents are mm-hmm, at. Mm-hmm. 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 What would you do, Michael? If I saw my sister making out with my cousin, let's say. Yes, and they were both girls. Yeah, I don't think I would tell on them. I you would never tell. tell. You, you don't you can't tell on them. No. You don't rat. No, but I would be like, I don't know. You just got to fucking Yeah, I'd 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 be like, "Ooh, I'm kind of skeeved. Bye." Yeah. I think this guy's just sad that he's not that his him and his brother and his cousin are closer than him and his cousin. You think? I don't know. I think he's just sad he, they don't get to play. I mean, I said he was jealous from the jump. Yeah, I think you're right. But also they are family. It is well. Here's the thing: if it's so wrong to fuck your family members, right? Then why do people want to do it? Here's the thing: you know, it's it, you know, it, like they wouldn't have to make a rule about it if it wasn't like kind of. Well, they don't make a rule about it. And it, it there is a rule about it. It is actually illegal the, to fuck your relatives. Yeah, but it, it creates Albanian children. God made the rule. God made the rule by the DNA not mixing. Not every time. Not I mean, every time, at, but it... it look cre- at Ireland. They've been inbreeding for like centuries. You can't understand a word they say. In Scotland too. In Wales. It's all a bunch of buck weirdos. Yeah. But that's not... Bad and, but example. They dom- but they also dominated the earth for like a while. Yeah, the known Earth. Oh, the known Earth? Oh, The civilized world. Yeah. We have an edit. What's that? On this, an update. Okay. Edit. I talked to them earlier, and we had a long discussion about it. I told them that I do support them being gay, but I'm not sure about their relationship. They said they understood and asked for a bit of space. Yeah, they were like, um, we did this to get you to leave us the fuck alone yeah. so that way we can go like Henny, play you're video not games without it. you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to go play Call of Booty. <laughs> I also promise them that I won't tell an adult or anyone I know, IRL for that matter. I asked how long they had been in, they had been a thing and they said 11 months. Almost their anniversary. <laughs> So it's been going for a bit. I told them I was happy they found love, but I am slightly weirded out. I'm currently not talking to either of them for at least a few days and just taking my time to think. Thank you for the advice. Also, for all the people I'm assuming, assuming I'm in the U.S. and stuff, I'm in Germany. This is making a lot of sense now. Yes, there we go. Because I was like, where are they? Where are That's they? why he's 14 and said all male. Yeah, that's okay. a Germany thing. Good. I live wow, there. Wow, good eye, too. <laughs> I live there, and all this is happening in Germany. Please stop making Alabama jokes. It's annoying. Well, wait a second. First of all, Germany is the Alabama of Europe. Second yep. of all, second of all, just let them do it. Germany has no German has ever made a mistake at all. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. All their ideas are good. Uh huh. And you should let let him roll with it. See where it goes. I remember Adam Carolla used to have a segment on his show way, 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 way back in the day where he would read a news article and it was either from Florida or Germany. Was that like way back in the day, like very far back or were you just stuttering? When he was on terrestrial radio. No, when you said way, 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 way. Yeah, it was way back in the day, Micah. I was not stuttering. There's no winning in this situation, says Denimist. All right. Thanks for waiting, in, Denimist. On one hand, telling a family or parent, or family parent or family member about this will make will in worst case end up with one or both of them kicked out of the family. Not necessarily, but it could fuck shit up. And you know, like when you like don't want somebody to, your kid to date someone, you tell them not to. It makes them like always do it more. Yeah. But it's gonna fuck up their. Yeah. Good luck having another family reunion after that. Right. 
They're going to have to keep them on separate. They're going to have to keep them leashed up on separate sides of the fucking room. That's right. I once had CPS called on my house because I told the school counselor my dad smokes and sometimes it woke me up at night. I was still little enough to be sleeping in their room. And that's that's why I was tired some days. Apparently they assumed he was purposefully waking me up, which he wasn't. What? I don't know. Let's move on. I don't understand these comments. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Um, here, I'll read the headline. You tell me if we want to do it. I'm cold. I, 24 female, have never had a job, and I am ashamed of it and my well-off background. How do I answer small talk questions about it in tasteful manner? Uh, get a job. Yeah, just get then a job. Then you can talk about that. You could even just work at Starbucks in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, hmm, I'm really embarrassed about this easily solvable problem, but instead of actually degrading myself by working like the common folk, I'll just, yeah, do what, do what the rich people in New York do and just pretend you work hard. Here Lie we go. about where your money comes from and uh, say you've had a job. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, live in a two-bedroom, a two-story apartment in Williamsburg. Right. And talk about how poor you are. Yes. And, uh, you know, and how, you know, yeah, your family's rich, but they don't help you, wink, wink. Yeah. And then when people are like, hey, are you going to go to work today? Just be like, oh, I called off. Yeah. And then, you know, like hire a publicist and become a very famous comedian and, you know, do a lot of jokes about how poor you are. Yeah. Yeah. And also don't eat. Right. That's one of the tricks, too. Or have a feline style name. Who are you talking about? Cat Cohen. Oh, jeez, damn. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Fucking naming names out here. I had, I had like... Five different other comedians in mind. Didn't even think of her. I think about making a sketch where you're holding a black man as a slave. I think that's also a good idea. Jeez, damn. I've never met the lady, so I'm not going to comment on I don't that. care. I think it's annoying when people who have money, aren't very talented, and then just hire a publicist. Yo, shots fired. Okay. Cat, if you're listening, give me some money. <laughs> uh, here we go. I have nothing. Should I join the military? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what they do. I'm turning 18 in a few months. I have nothing. Should I have less? <laughs> I'm turning 18 in a few months, and I am feeling very depressed about my future. You're 18. Who gives a fuck? Now, wait till you're 35 and you have nothing. Then are you going to join the military? They won't take you. Oh, damn it. I dropped out of high school and got my GED, and my family is poor and borderline abusive. I'm surprised the military hasn't already knocked on your door. <laughs> also, I think bo- I think you can take borderline out of there. I think if they're borderline abusive, they are abusive. Nah, because sometimes borderline abusive usually means like mean, but yeah. not actually like burning like cigars into your skin. Oh, sure. I want to live a good life, but so far I have nothing. Would signing away four years of my life to enlist in the military be worth it? What is that sentence? You have nothing, so let's just sign away four years of my life? I mean, honestly, like, it'll get you out of the house. You'll learn a yeah. skill. Yeah, you get in shape. You get in shape. You make a little money. You could get a college grant. You can get a lot of training. Like People the- fake respect your ass while you walk through the fucking airport. You get to board the plane early. Downsides. You could die. And even if you live, you could be mentally ill for the rest of your life and or injured. Yes. The benefits seem amazing. Yeah. I like the idea of getting in shape and traveling a bit. <laughs> That's how they get you. Yeah. He's like, I like the idea of getting in shape, traveling a bit, and killing strangers I've never met. (laughs) And I love the idea of being far away from home, because frankly, I don't have a home. I don't want to just impulsively dive in, however, so I'm looking for advice. Am I being stupid thinking this is a good idea, or will it actually benefit me? Thanks. So this man has no allegiance to our country, No. and he does not want to defend the country. He just wants to get, in fact, he wants to get out of there. Honestly, that's most of the people who enlist. Like, the number of people who are like, I love America, and then also join the military is very small. A lot of those people stay home, play video games, and collect guns. Yeah. Here's what Elder Sage 521 said. I did, and overall it was a great path for me to take in life. I ended up serving 20 years total. I strongly recommend picking a field that directly translates into good civilian employment afterwards. So, like... 
computers. Like where you work on computers. Did you see how hard Tim worked to even think what would lead to employment? (laughs) He's just like, like, um, God, what would lead to getting a job? Killing Nazis. No, no, no. That's, uh, you got to be a Nazi in America. I mean, you, oh, yeah. Get a career in politics. That's right. Also, you get it. You get to go to college for free. What about that? College is gay. Did you say college is gay? <laughs> yeah. He said as he yawned. I was thinking about college and yawning. Yawned idiotically. All right, we have enough time for one more. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, it looks like someone discovered the ability to read ahead. This one sucks. Okay. Not safe for work. How many orgasms is too many during sex? I say, brother, one. That's got to be a woman. Okay, sounds stupid, but I think I messed up. I, 20 female, and my girlfriend, 21 female. Obviously. Okay, all right. Uh, let's change this. I, 20 male, and my boyfriend, 20 male. What are you doing? I'm making it good for the listeners. No, there's no way no that wants, wasn't a woman. No one wants to hear about two ladies hooking up. It's gross. We want to hear about the fellas. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I, 20 female, and my girlfriend, 21 female, Waited to have sex for a bit, and so I wanted our first time to be fun. I ended up making her finish 15 times in a short amount of time. Hell this is, yes. This sounds like a fucking rap song. Yeah. Now I don't know when a good place to stop is. I feel like one is just disappointing at this point. See, this is why always... Yeah, ah. Always under-promise, over-deliver. No. Overpromise, underdeliver. Tim, you've done neither. <laughs> yeah, I'm a good guy. <laughs> I feel like one is just disappointing at this point because we've had sex almost every day since, except for a week when she was recovering from sex surgery. Sex surgery? No, she just regular surgery. Oh, I was like, what, from like clit repair? This sounds like I'm boasting. You are. But I'm getting a little worn out, but I don't want to disappoint her. What should I do? When should I stop? Well, here's the thing. You're both 20, 21. This girl's not going to be with you for the rest of your life. So just... Are you fucking kidding me? (laughs) You don't think she's going to stay with the woman who gave her 15 orgasms her first time at bat? Yeah. That's fucking... uh, Put a ring on that shit. I think think one of these chicks is going to ruin the other's life. I always think that, though. Sounds worth it to me. So here we go. Uh, You stop when she says so or when you've had enough. There is no right number. Yeah, duh. You and your partner are the only people in the world that can answer that question. You should ask her about it. Uh, Shut up. She'll be like, oh, uh, yeah, one one would be disappointing. I think you should go 15 more times. So that first one was from an advice guru. This was from a super helper. And this final one is from a master advice guru. Damn. You should have a conversation with her about it and ask her. Yeah. There you go. Just be like, listen, bitch, I'm starting to get carpal tunnel whacking that fucking pussy around down there. (laughs) I can't be fucking, I can't be fucking slapping your little fucking hole around. I gotta, I gotta get back to work. (laughs) It never occurred to you that she could be eating her out. Huh? (laughs) you fucking goose i can't stop comparing myself to other women this is a short one it seems like other women keep coming on coming over and over uh i'm always wondering about what i see about what i seem like or look like to other people well if you put a pic i could tell you I also yeah slap an old photo up here. Let's, yeah, let's do a little hot or not. I also compare myself to other women I see on social media. Why can't I just admire their beauty without feeling so jealous? This woman sounds ugly. How can I stop this? I hate feeling insecure about everything. Mm, do you think that? Have what, you thought about plastic surgery? Hmm, interesting. What do you think? What do you think this lady is? You think she's a what on the scale? On a scale of one to ten? I think she's fairly hot. You do? Yeah, because the 
the closer you get to like being really hot, the more insecure you are. Like when you're fucking ugly, you kind of just give up. Boy, nothing's proven that more right than a lot of these women I've seen on the train recently. <laughs> My oh, you God. had to look at something bad. Too? I had to look at a lot of stuff spill out of all over the place. Oh yeah, why was someone carrying home a mirror? <laughs> no, my God, I'm wearing full shirts. Yeah, full shirts. Yeah, they're pretty full. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so, what do you give her on a scale of one to ten? I'm gonna say she's between a six and an eight. I'm gonna give her a ten because all women are beautiful in their own way. Here's the uh, advice that this person says. What? Go on. Ah, uh, get off social media. Every time you catch yourself comparing yourself, think of three things you like about yourself. Example: I am no, kind. Don't. I have it nice sucks. hair. I like that I am an animal person. This person, two. Of, I like that I'm an animal person. Two of this person's things that they like about themselves are kind and animal person and nice hair. The rest of them have to be fucking fugly ass motherfucker. Think of anything or do some breathing techniques. It's, it's, eventually, your brain will stop those intrusive thoughts, no, no, and no. you'll automatically feel good about yourself. Hold on, who is this? Death is positive. Uh, guess what? That's the worst fucking advice I've ever Here's heard in my you do. fucking life. Here's what you do. Number one, sign up for every workout program you can find. Number two, yes. buy clothes that don't fit you and don't stop until you fit into them. Don't Number three, stop. get a filter, apply it to all of your photos. <laughs> Number four, plastic surgery. Yes. If you can't afford plastic surgery, have you considered dressing really slutty and letting people fuck you so that way they at least tell you that you're beautiful? Yeah. There are so many ways around this problem that this person didn't even mention. Give out, yeah, Mike is right. Give validation from people on the outside. That's right. Just let them nut in you until yes. you feel whole again. Right. Then get pregnant. Yes. And now they have to love you. Yeah. Uh, also, don't eat as much as you're eating. Yeah. Also, get really drunk. Yeah. You feel more pretty when you're drunk and on drugs. Sometimes I think my shadow looks like me when I'm drunk and I feel like I'm in shape. Aw, Tim. Pretty cool. Do we have time for one more? No. Let's see. We have to get back to packing, Timmy. But we're at 37 minutes. That's plenty, Tim. We have to fucking... We're surrounded by stuff. Nothing's in a box. We're moving tomorrow and you have to do your show for some fucking reason. Let's move it along. All right. Signing off... <laughs> I'm the advice, the master advice guru, your Patreon dad, your free feed best friend, Timothy Grady McLaughlin II. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And signing off, it's me, your advice dominator. Whoa. The person to go to for all of your questions. I don't care about you. Goodbye.